This quilt has been made by Lydia Fennell. Liddy was born March 3, 1867 in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. This is in the tradition of crazy quilts, only technically this is not a crazy quilt because this, ha this has order to it, where a crazy quilt has to be completely random. This is made up of 82 different pieces. She has included these stitches here that are just like the ones you would find in books of the day for crazy quilts. She also might have gotten her patterns from books of the day. Down there we have that owl square, and then the strawberries probably also came out of this book here. To do the roses over there, it's something called long and short stitch. Outside, you do some long stitches, some shorter stitches, and then the inside, it's all the same stitch, but then they're, they're positioned in between the long and short of the row before, and so that gives a beautiful shading. We have some velvet fabric here, as well as just plain wool fabric. And she has done all of her embroidery in wool thread. Occasionally, there's a little bit of silk thread. These, this fancy stuff is silk. She's done something called a plus stitch, where we have all these raised parts here. And they're to make all loops, rows upon rows of loops. Then the loops are cut and brushed so that it makes this fuzz and you get the, the raised work part of it. In this square, she used something called ruching. And for ruching, you take a piece of fabric that's been cut on the bias and then fold the raw edges to the center and you draw lines on here that are 90 degrees to each other. Then you take a very small basting stitch, and now I'm going to pull this, and you will see how this fabric all scrunches up. Then you can base that down to get the dimension for your flower. The back of the quilt is one piece of lining, and she has decided to decorate it a little bit by even putting flowers on the back. And along the edge, she has a beautiful braid that she has stitched all along here to finish off this. For those of you who are now looking at this quilt, I would say enjoy it and take your time to see everything there is on this quilt.